Hey team, uh, 18 of January 2021. Today we have a pretty intense workout, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so this is the warm up for the day. We're going to do ten, uh, three rounds of 10 twisting bears, 10 hip openers, mountain climbers, and 10 tuck up jumps, 10 to uh, 5 to 10 push ups, and 10 air squats. All right, guys, so here we have the uh, twist and bears. This is a staple in our training, so I'm sure you guys know how to do them. I want you guys to get that hip as high as possible and open your chest by keeping your arms up, as you can see him doing this in the video. All right, 10 of these, guys. All right, right after this, we're going to do 10 hip openers, mountain climbers. You can step up like he's doing, or you guys can jump and switch feet. After this, guys, this is the tuck up. You guys are going to jump up and tuck your knees up. 10 of those. And now we're going to go into 5 to 10 push-ups. So bring your chest down to the ground, ties down to the ground, and press all the way up. If you guys struggle with them, you can open your feet. And after that, guys, we're going to do 10 air squats. I want feet flat on the floor, knees moving out, chest up, hands over your head, chest upright, guys. 10 air squats. Awesome, guys. Once you finish that part of the warm up, we're going to go into two rounds of 10 single arm dumbbell deadlifts on each side, 10 single arm dumbbell high pull on each side, 10 single arm um, power cleans on each side, and 10 single arms push presses. After that, 10 goblet squats. All right, guys. Just like any other deadlift, I want you guys to keep uh, your chest upright, keep that back flat. And every time you guys are going to hinge, you are going to send that butt back. Imagine you guys are closing a drawer that's behind you with your butt. As you can see, as she comes down, the first thing she does is sending her butt back. After that, guys, we are going to go into high pulls. Like I always said, guys, imagine you're trying to elbow someone behind you while you keep that dumbbell very close to your body. So throw your elbow back higher than your hand, keep that uh, dumbbell closed. After that, we're gonna turn those two movements into one, getting that dumbbell to your shoulder. So it's gonna be 10 power cleans on each side. From your shoulder, you guys are gonna give me 10 push presses. So you guys deep drive and punch overhead. And then you guys gonna grab that dumbbell and give me 10 goblet squats. Just like an air squat, you guys are going to send your knees out, keep your feet flat, chest upright, but you're going to keep that dumbbell close to your chest, chest on a goblet position. All right, guys, so now the minimal version of the workout. It's going to be three rounds of seven minutes on, three minutes off, and you guys are going to do as many repetitions as possible of 14 single arm dumbbell power clean. You guys can alternate every seven. Then you guys are going to do 21 goblet squats with the same dumbbell. And then you guys are going to do 28 push presses. You guys can alternate every seven reps. Okay. Remember that you're going to do as many reps as possible in those seven minutes. And it's three rounds. All right, guys. Now, if you don't have any equipment at home, then what we can do is we're going to do seven minutes as well of three minutes of rest three times of 14 tuck jumps like we did in the warm-up. Then you guys are going to go to 21 air squats and you're going to go for 28 push-ups. My advice if you not have no equipment is break this in manageable sets. So don't go for 14 tuck-ups on broken. You can do two sets of uh, seven, then move to the 21 air squats and then with the push-ups do the same. Do manageable sets that you can break those 21 push-ups in. All right, guys, there you go. That's our workout for the day. If you guys have any question, please send me a message or contact any of the coaches. They will provide you with some um, knowledge and inside tips. All right, guys, have fun with this one.